to another vlog. I just was in the mood to vlog today, so I thought I would pick up my camera and do a little day in my life vlog for you guys. If you're new here, I'm Meg. I live in Miami, and I just like to make Miami content. Right now, I'm working on printing some stuff out for labels because I have some returns I have to do, online returns. So I'm printing out labels, and then I'm gonna go to the UPS store because I have a few things to drop off. And right now, it's like it looks like it's about to storm, so um, hopefully I don't get rained on, but like it's sunny where I am But then if I look like further in the distance, it's dark and cloudy over there So I don't know what the weather's gonna be like, but I feel like it's about to storm So I'm gonna quickly do this and put all my stuff together for the UPS store and then like run over there Also, I want to show you guys this adorable ring I got from Kendra Scott I was at the mall recently with one of my friends Gab and we went into the Kendra Scott store and I had never been in Kendra Scott I didn't even know it was jewelry to be honest, but we walked in there just to browse and then I saw this really cute dainty little sterling silver heart ring and I'm in love with it. It wasn't expensive at all. It was like $40. I know things like range in prices there, but this one was only 40 and I just think it's so cute and dainty and some days I like to wear silver jewelry and other days I like to wear gold just depending on my outfit. Sometimes I feel like gold goes better and then some days I feel like silver goes better. So with my outfit today, I thought silver goes better. So I'm wearing this Tiffany necklace, the Kendra Scott ring, and then these um, studs which I think are from Kate Spade. I got them at Nordstrom like last year. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my little cute ring. I keep like looking at my eyebrows in the viewfinder because one of them I'm like trying to grow out. But if any of you guys live in Miami, Go to Miami Brow Bar in Coral Gables. They do such an amazing job with threading or waxing. I went there recently and they like draw out your eyebrows for you before they do the threading or waxing and they measure your whole face. So they make sure your eyebrows go well with your facial proportions, which is so cool. I really love them. They were super nice and friendly. And so that's what they did for my brows. And I really like how they turned out, but they're definitely still not like identical because they say people's eyebrows are like, never identical. But one of mine, I need to like grow out more because I think I over plucked it myself during quarantine last year. And so it still hasn't grown back, but Overall, I feel like they look really good and I'm liking the shape and the thickness of it. So yeah, if you live in Miami, check them out. It's Miami Brow Bar on Instagram and they're like 15 minutes from downtown Miami. So it's really not that bad and they do a fantastic job. probably like 89 degrees but I'm not kidding you it feels like 100 degrees outside let's see what it says oh it says it says feels like 93 but to me it feels like 100 degrees so I probably should be drinking water but I'm drinking coffee of course I'm drinking coffee and it's like literally sweating you can see it dripping I got my pumpkin cream cold brew of course but I did a little bit something different today I did add sweet cream just like regular sweet cream that's in the sweet cream cold brew so it made it a little lighter, definitely more sweet. If you don't like sweet coffee, this is probably too much for you, but I like my coffee pretty light, so I still got the pumpkin foam on top, but then they just added sweet cream, so. But I really should be drinking water. But then I dropped off all my packages. I went to UPS and I went to FedEx because one was for FedEx. Then I went to Sprouts, which is a healthy kitchen. And, brickle, and they have just like healthy options for food and 
I really like their tuna wraps. They have like tuna kale wraps. So, so I got one of these for lunch. I'm probably just gonna eat this in my car, honestly, because I have to go to Crate and Barrel and return some things I bought online. And I just don't feel like going back to my apartment. So I'm just gonna eat my food in my car. So put some hand sanitizer on. Okay, so this is what the wrap looks like. It's like tuna salad with greens and carrots and celery or something like that, but it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, talk to you guys later. outdoor mall and then it just started torrential downpouring so yeah but I promise it's really cute I'm sad because I really wanted to show you guys what it looks like but I went to Crate and Barrel and I did an exchange and I got some cute stuff that I'll show you when I get home um, but yeah I just exchanged some things that I bought online and I'm gonna try not to get wet right now <laughs> to do a little haul showing you what I picked up from Crate and Barrel. So the first thing I got is a four pack of these rosé wine glasses. I only wanted two but they could only come in the pack of four so I just decided to get all four of them. This is what they look like. If I took it out of the box you could see they have like a little pink sheen to them. I don't have any wine glasses so I decided to get these ones and yeah they're really cute so I'm excited about those. Next thing I got is this black dish towel. It's so similar to the one I have right now hanging here, but it's just a black dish towel. I thought I should change it out maybe and do black. This just has some texture to it and then the little fringe at the bottom, which I thought was cute. I also got this little cutting board. It's like a black marble cutting board, but it's not real marble. It's plastic but it does look like it's real marble and it's the perfect size it's nice and small so perfect for like cutting fruit cutting veggies um i just needed one of these because i actually don't have a cutting board and then i got these rocks so these are beach stones and the reason i got these is because i got some pompous grass and i need them to stand up straight in the vase so i asked the woman working at Crate and Barrel what she would recommend and she recommended buying some of these stones to put in the vase and that way the pompous grass will like stand up. So I'm going to show you guys what exactly I'm talking about. So this is the black pompous grass I'm talking about and I have it in this vase. I ordered four of these online but this is just two right here. I just kind of like tied them together but the thing is they don't stand up straight in the vase. So that's what I bought these stones for. So I'm going to put the stones in the bottom of the vase and hopefully they're going to stand up straight. Just went to Starbucks, of course. I got my pumpkin cream cold brew. This time I'm just doing a tall. And recently I've been asking for extra pumpkin cream just because I like to see to the root. Oh, pumpkin cream on mine. And then lately my guilty pleasure for food has been the chocolate croissant i don't know why i never tried the chocolate croissant before they warm it up for you and it's all chocolatey and melty and this has been like my little guilty pleasure now every time i go to starbucks probably not a good habit to have but 
So that's what I got from Starbucks. I also really want to go, if any of you guys are from Miami, I want to go to this um, drip and dough, okay, coffee bar. Let me know if any of you guys are from here and you've been there. But I just want to try out other coffee shops because I feel like, you know, going to Starbucks is basic. You can go to Starbucks anywhere. So I'm definitely going to try out that coffee shop soon. So I'm about to have some sweet green for dinner, my new favorite thing to order from DoorDash. It's a really bad habit because I'm definitely spending way too much on salad. But I'm going to watch some YouTube and just relax for the rest of the night and call it a night. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Make sure you're subscribed and see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.